we're looking at a Verizon wireless plan that has 900 uh, monthly minutes for 59.99. If you go above 100, 900 minutes, it's going to charge you 40 cents extra. Um, the the company is. So we want to write a linear function that gives the monthly price to a person as a function of the number of minutes used above 900. So if you don't use any minutes above 900, if it's zero, then your total price will be 59.99. If you use 10 minutes over, let's say, then you're going to pay $59.99 still, but now you're going to have to add on to that um, 40 cents 10 times because you're using 10 extra minutes and it's 40 cents per extra minute. So notice that all we're really doing here to get P is taking um, $59.99 and adding to it 40 cents M times, depending on how many minutes you use above 900. Now, this isn't the number of minutes you talk. This is the number of minutes above 900. Um, now we want to find and write P of 100. Well, P of 100 means if you use 100 overage minutes, you're going to pay 59.99 plus 40 cents times 100 minutes. And that will give you, that's going to be 40 more dollars you're going to have to pay for those 100 minutes. You might want to up your plan, but that would be $99.99 for 100 overage minutes. Um, in part C, we want to write an equation that describes the total number of minutes used in the given month. Call this function t of m. Okay, well, this seems weird because isn't m the number of minutes? Well, m is the number of overage minutes. So in fact, if you use zero overage minutes, that means you've, uh, well, we're assuming that you've used 900 minutes of your plan. Uh, otherwise, you probably wouldn't buy it. If you use 10 overage minutes, then your total minutes used would be the 900 plus the 10 minutes um, that you um, went over. So you used a total of 910 minutes. Well, how do we get this? To get the total minutes you use, take the 900 of the plan plus the number of overage minutes. And so if we wanted to find and interpret t of 100, t of 100 would mean, OK, if I use 100 overage minutes, that means I have to, in total, I've used 900 plus 100 is 1,000 total minutes. Well, now we want to look at the, the relationship of these functions. So write a new equation, call it A, which is going to be the pr total price of your, your monthly bill divided by the number of, of total minutes you use. So all we really have to do here is take this function and divide it by this function. So P divided by T, so this is what we're calling A. Well, your price is $59.99 plus the 40 cents per minute. And your total minutes is 900 plus m. And so now the question is, uh, find and explain the real world meaning of a of 0, a of 10, a of 100. What do you notice? OK, well, a of 0 is, well, what do we get when we plug in uh, 0 for m? Well, we're going to get 59.99 plus 0.4 times 0 divided by 900 plus 0. So notice that this is the total price. This is dollars. And this is the number of minutes that you've used in total. So it, in this case, we'll have 59.99 divided by 900. So this is dollars over minutes. So guess what our units are going to be? Dollars per minute. This comes out to about um, a roughly 0 0.07 dollars per minute. OK, well, let's, I'm just going to jump straight to A of 100. So this is 7 cents per minute on average. Now, if I use um, 100 minutes of overage, that's a lot, right? But 100 minutes of overage is going to be 59.99 plus 0.4 times 100. So we know that your total price is going to be 99.99. That's dollars. So this is dollars up here. And the total minutes that you've used is the 900 of your plan plus 100 overage minutes, which puts you at 1,000 minutes. So guess what happens to your, your average price? Well, it goes up. It goes up to 0 0.099 repeating. And this is dollars per minute. So you're basically paying $0.09 cents per minute now. And guess what's going to continue happening? Your average price per minute is going to continue to rise. So that's what we're noticing here. And the question is, well, how long will it continue to rise? Well, the vertical asymptote um, is going to be um, m equals negative 900, because that's what's going to make the denominator 0. Um, now, we know that that's not possible, so we can pretty much ignore the asymptote. Um, the horizontal asymptote, based on the order of the function, will be the orders are the same. So our ratio of the m, m coefficients will be 0.4 over 1. And that means we're going to average.